look what's here you guys it has arrived my wonderful wagon behold the wonderful hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we're unboxing dun 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 the wonderful W4 wagon. Now this wagon is a highly coveted children's chariot, the ultimate stroller wagon. This wagon here seats up to four kids. Yes, four kids. And that's the reason why I was so interested in getting my hands on this. I'm a mother of two little girls who are four years old and two years old. And I'm also a foster mom. So at any point in time, I can have up to four kids. And I most recently had four children under the age of four. So that was a lot for me to navigate everyday life by myself, out and about, around town with only a double stroller. So I can imagine, I'm sure you can imagine how that was trying to wrangle four children. And um, so this was the answer to my prayers. Also, my four-year-old is extremely tall. And so finding a stroller or anything she can comfortably sit in for a long period of time has been a challenge. But I feel like this has been the answer to our prayers. We have been eyeing this for so long and I'm so happy it's finally here. So let's just go ahead and unbox it. Show you from a bird's eye view what is in the box and it looks like our entire wagon is pretty much put together I think all we have to put on are the wheels and the brake So this is how the stroller looks once it's outside of the box. I do have the canopy right here I did take out, but everything you need is inside and it's such a compact fold. So this is the size it's gonna be in your vehicle, um, but also we're gonna put on the wheels. So this is truly the size. It is so, so compact. Just look at this. All right, so inside we've got wheels. So I've got, um, these are the rear wheels. And like I said, the canopy is down there on the floor. I also did take out the, um, stroller wagon baseboard so this is going to go at the bottom this is kind of like your little pack and play mattress type deal so we're just gonna um set this aside and wait till we open the wagon um but here is the brake which does come with screws so we're gonna attach that with some screws and these are the front wheels so the front wheels are a little bit smaller than the rear wheels and then we also have our seat attachment our actual seat this is the handle and then we also have this is a basket and we have our seats inside have assembled our rear wheels and our brake system so it may look a little intimidating but don't let it intimidate you it's actually very very simple just follow the instructions it's so easy and if I can do it you can do it
guys, we've got one bench seat in. So these were a little bit hard to clip on, but I think if you, you are very gentle with it, it's gonna be harder, but just don't be afraid to actually uh, clip that on. So these, uh, the bench seats clips on the side here. It also clips in the back, and then here's the clip to extra secure it. And then it also clips on the other side as well. So this is just one of the configurations you can do, and you can use this with just one bench seat if you wanted, or if you wanna put in two. So this way, if you have an older child or two older children or two smaller children, um, one of your children can be lying down here. So I really, really love this, but let's get that other seat in there. both of our seats on there. So this is what it looks like just set up with both bench seats. So this is how it can carry four children. Look at this, you have a harness strap for one child and obviously these are adjustable. So if you have a smaller baby that can sit up, I would definitely recommend a baby that can sit up on their own. So probably six months and up, um, but they do have different height adjustments for your child on all of these seats. And it's a pretty secure and very sturdy, comfortable harness and it has these harness shoulder straps for your child so to ensure there's no pinching and it's a very comfortable fit so this is how you can do it i mean and if you really wanted to get froggy with it you could probably put another kiddo at the bottom so technically you could probably have five in at once but i would just recommend four at a time so now we're going to attach the canopy so we're going to attach the canopy there's four corners four holes in each corner so there's one and then we're going to pull this back to uh, reveal another one and then two more each side. guys our wagon is completely assembled this took about maybe all of 15 minutes so it is super easy to do it may look intimidating when you pull this out of the box but i promise you it is so so incredibly easy normally i have my husband put together strollers or anything like that and i did it myself in 15 minutes okay so this is the entire wagon put together i did put on the rear basket so this is the basket here it's so so and nice and here is everything and then you have extra pockets here on these little side flaps and these just kind of protect the mechanisms of the wagon so your kiddos aren't pitching their fingers or anything this canopy is like a nice oh gosh probably a nylon material it is so incredibly soft it just folds up so incredibly easy and also you can actually if you wanted to move it from side to side Sorry guys, Beatbo's back there. Avery has Beatbo, she loves that robot. So if you guys wanted to move the canopy if the sun was just coming in from this side, you can literally just pull the material down and block the sun from this side. So that way one side is completely shaded. How nice is that? And then you can just move it back up and to center it or if you wanted to do the other side and completely block sun out and it just easily slides so look at how nice that is so this is the wagon without it and when the canopy is not in use it's just easy to take off of these out of these holes and just store it over your handlebar all right let's go ahead and take out the canopy and the canopies just kind of sit deeply into those canopy holes so it's just super easy and so when you are not using it if you're inside it's just easy to store your handlebar like this so this is what it would look like if you were not using your canopy so you don't have to worry about carrying it or finding another place for the canopy it just sits right here on your handlebar so that is so so nice this is a very comfortable easy push 
It's just so lightweight. I don't have any kids in it yet, but we're gonna take this baby out for a test drive and see how she handles it and maybe pick up a couple extra kids on the way. Okay, so this is the wagon in the back of my van. I have a Toyota Sienna. And so um, I might just um, switch the configuration around just a little bit because of the handlebars. So I may either lay one seat down or just lay this down completely flat um, because the door won't close because the handle. So just FYI, when you're trying to put this in your vehicle, just make sure the handle isn't facing out because you won't be able to close your door. And that is everything inside. I have the wagon here, both seats, both benches, and the bottom of the wagon and we are ready to go let's go take this for a test drive okay here we go we are at the mall meeting some friends for a little playtime and lunch and we are testing on our wonderful and so far so good this push is so smooth i really like it well we're out test driving our wagon you guys and we absolutely love it I've already gotten so many questions on where you can order this wagon. So be sure to go to wonderfulwagon.com and order yours today. You won't regret it. Also stay tuned. I will be doing a full in-depth review on this wagon and a comparison video. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to see more and so that you never miss a beat. And we will see you guys in the next one.